This is Frank the Pest Geek, and we use Pest Routes. Pest Routes is the number one pest control software to supercharge your business. Check them out at pestroutes.com. Hey, welcome to the Pest Geek Podcast. I am Frank Hernandez, your Pest Geek, and we're going to be discussing fig Thigmotactic insects. And what are thigmotactic insects? These are insects that like to have their body touching something. They're touchy feely insects. They like to feel protected and just like two thirds of their body touching things. Now, there are many insects that are thigmotactic, and they, the, the term is thigmotaxis, is the act of touching. Now, these insects include roaches, silverfish, fire brats, rodents, even thrips uh, in your landscape will hide in the bark of trees during the winter to survive. Also, these insects will do as in during winter months, they will huddle together to stay warm. So these are many defense mechanisms that insects use, one to protect themselves and where they like to live. Understanding this behavior is going to help you control insects Um, in a better way than trying to use broadcast methods. For instance, if you know that a German roach is a thigmal tactic and it likes to hide in places like cracks and crevices. Now think of your kitchen. You have thousands of cracks and crevices in those cabinets. That's where they are. And by putting foggers and using aerosols, you're not going to control that problem because they're hiding and protecting themselves even from those pesticides, even if they're up in the air. So what you need to do is locate nesting. This is why gel baits, putting them directly in the areas where they are, finding those locations, getting a flashlight, looking for where the roaches are hiding, and putting the product right there in front of their faces is going to be very effective. If you understand this also about roaches, where do people go to go get boxes to move when they want to move? They go dumpster diving or they go to the local store. Well, what happens is since those insects have those habits, cardboard has those little notches, which are the corrugate. And in between those two layers of paper, there's a corrugate and they love hiding in there. So do silverfish, so do fire brats. And what happens is they go hide in there. You come home, you pack all your stuff, you move and you're moving roaches. So by not doing that, you're going to go ahead and prevent a possible roach infestation in your home. Do yourself a favor, buy the boxes from a reputable vendor. All right. So now what silverfish? Why is this important to understand this about silverfish? Well, silverfish have this habit too. And they're these little packets that they're called deco packs, which have boric acid in them. And what happens is since the silverfish loves to go in that little cardboard, they go in there and they encounter the boric acid. Well, if you've got silverfish in your cabinets and your drawers and you're starching your clothes and you're finding them in there, if you put the little silverfish packs, you're going to eliminate a major problem with silverfish in those drawers because they're going to find it. Also, if you understand about caulking and sealing, if you caulk and seal, then you prevent those pests from having to go in there. It's much easier to caulk and seal your uh, baseboards one time in your life than to constantly have to apply a pesticide around those areas because they're hiding there. Also, a crack and crevice spray with a little rod, injecting them into those areas where the insects like to hide is gonna help you control them without the need to doing a broadcast spray or a baseboard spray. So understanding all this about uh, thig, thig Motactic insects is going to help you do better pest control as both as a pest control professional and as a homeowner who's trying to prevent them in their home. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share this with your friends, share it in groups and go ahead and click when you subscribe, go ahead and click that little bell because we're going to be producing a lot of these videos to help you control pests better. Hey, this is Frank the Pest Geek, and this has been a Pest Geek Moment, and I'm wishing you a pestacular day.